I want to take just a second and show you how to rip music that you own onto your computer so you can listen to it. And what I did is I went ahead out on Internet Explorer and I searched for is ripping CD illegal. And it's illegal to rip the CD and share it with other people. However, if you own it, it says the RIAA still doesn't have a problem with ripping it as long as we don't share it. So it's okay for us to rip our own music and save it, save a digital copy uh, that we can use personally. So let's let's do that. Uh, yesterday I put a Bruce Springsteen album in. Today I'm going to put another Bruce Springsteen album in. Show you how that works. So we'll take uh, this one here, and I'm going to put that in on my computer, which you can't see me doing, but I do have a video that shows me putting a CD in. So we'll take the other one out. We'll put this one in. And we'll give it a second. And it'll pop up and start playing right away. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to come over here and we want to rip this. This will mean that it will save it to our hard drive so we don't have to have the CD in all the time. But before we rip it, we want to come over here and we want to go to our, our library. So we want to hold the alternate key down. We want to go into Tools and we want to go into Options. And what this is going to do if we come over here and we click on Rip Music, it's going to rip music to Windows Media Audio format. So if you wanted to copy this from your computer to your to another MP3 or MP3 device, uh, it would need to play Windows Media Audio, or we can change it now to an MP3. So if we want to rip our CD to a, to a format that's standard with a lot of the devices that are out there, your cell phones, anything that can play music can usually play an MP3. We can also increase the quality if we want to, but 128K is pretty good. You can also come in here and you tell it when you're ripping it, where do you want to rip it to. So when I rip this, it's going to go to Users Randy Music Folder. I can change that folder. If it was home use and you had uh, everybody in your household uh, using a shared disk, you could rip it to a shared disk and you could access it from your other computers. So anyways, I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to hit Apply. And then we'll do OK. So now when I did the Apply, it's going to set the changes and, rem and remember them all the time. Now I'm going to rip the CD by just clicking on this. Now it's ripping the disk and we want to check its progress. So I'm going to open up the File Explorer. I'll just click on that. And then I want to go into My Music. And here's a Bruce Springsteen folder. And let's check the status of it. So I can do the F5 key and it will show me what it's ripping right now. I'm going to continue to pause the video and we'll check back with this after a while. Now I checked in the back here to see the status and it's uh, ripping a little bit. Another thing you can do while it's ripping and again MP3 on this computer is taking a little bit more time than the WMA than the Windows Media Audio seems to rip a little bit faster. Depending on the speed of your disk and uh, the speed of your computer these will rip faster or slower. But while it's ripping these, while it's reading them off of the disk and saving them to my hard drive, I still can play the CD at the same time. So if I wanted to listen to it while I was ripping, I certainly could. And we'll, we'll pause the video and we'll come back to this again in a second. Okay, now I've checked my music library here. And, this, and the uh, CD is done ripping. I, I had to compare it to the uh, playlist on the CD. And it said there are seven songs and seven songs are done. Uh, if you can see the CD-ROM light on your computer, when it stops flashing, it's probably done as well. 
So now what we can do is we can eject the disc out of the CD player. But we can still play our music that's in our library. So if we want to play it in the Windows Media Player in the desktop application, we have to go to our library and we'd have to go to music and then we can play it off of our library. And I can also rate these too. What are my favorite songs? And then I can go and sort them again. So if I just wanted to play this one. just choose it to play it. I don't want to keep it on because it's kind of loud. Uh, I can also run this. Let's, let's, let's run a Windows app. So let's go back here to the start screen and let's run the music app. So here's the music app over here. And then let's go back to my music. So open something to play. Let's play Bruce Springsteen. And again, I can choose what I want to play. A one, two, three, four. And you can hear it playing there. If I want to pause it, I have to pause it down here. What I was doing is I was skipping. Uh, you can also go next song. So you can use these controls down here to repeat. Shuffle will randomly play the song. And if we if you if you notice right here, we have uh, it has the album cover. So I can click on that. And it also if I scroll down here, it's gonna give me a little bit of the bio. So I can learn more about the album. Pretty much read the information that's inside of the CD case. If I open up the CD case, there's usually a little book inside. And I can come back here and uh, read some of the information. I can view more, learn more stuff. Okay, so that's ripping a CD in uh, Windows 8.